back. Today I have a adorable dog themed birthday set for you to send to a friend, a loved one, a coworker, and some really cute accessories to go along with it to really encompass that party or party feel. So with that said, I have all of my supplies out and I'm just gonna be doing a really simple, layerable, stamped ink display. Nothing crazy pop out um, or turning spinning wheel. This is just going to be a really upfront and center featuring our lovely canine friends. So I have my stamps. I already took my round corner cutter and I have cut the corners of my cards. In addition to that, I have some cute washi tapes. These are little sprinkles and little cupcakes. I just added around the border because my idea is just a little bit peeking out from around the corner. Washi tapes are a really good supply to use if you don't have not only the funds, but the time to purchase all of these different um, patterned papers. It does add up quite quickly, so you can get washi tapes for pretty inexpensive and they are going to give you that patterned look um, without totally breaking the bank. So if you use those, awesome. Um, if not, save them for another time. I also have my bone. I also have my bone folder um, just to help smooth out any nooks or bumps or whatever it may be. My handy dandy tweezers. Um, I am still nursing my sore thumb, so this is just going to help me really get a good grip. My favorite white jelly roll pen. Gotta give my canines uh, some really cute highlights. Tape glue runner. I have three different pigments today. Um, if you want your dogs to be all black or all brown or whatever it may be, um, absolutely do that. But I want some variety, so I have um, my color ink pads, and these are all from the Jacquard ink and pad. Um, these two aren't labeled, but this is what they usually look like. So I have black, brown, and this canary um, for my lab or my golden retriever. So I have those. Um, some additional cutouts from my stamps, and of course my clear blocks. So lots of things, but all things that are super useful and are going to help create this card. So let's cut the chat and get to it. Um, first thing, like I said, I already have my card, and this is all I did to it. Um, this is actually a nice frame, so maybe you just put some washi tape around and you have your little uh, dogs in frame. But I'm gonna do a few more layers. And to do that, I'm gonna tape this down right away. Uh, here we go. And then of course I will get stamping. Maybe I'll just do a few so that middle part doesn't any have any bows or waves in it. And my favorite technique is to just eyeball it. <laughs> I'm not a huge perfectionist with my card making. If you are, you can obviously take the time to really measure and make sure everything is lined up. But me, I'm just kind of here for the creative experience. I'm just gonna see what happens. This is just a little um, eraser stick. These are super awesome, um, especially if you're like a graphic artist and using a lot of graphite or um, charcoal uh, vine sticks, this is awesome. And it's perfect for cleaning up any little marks that you gotta get rid of. Uh, all right, so that's good. I'm gonna set that aside. And I'm going to bring my pooch, pooches, I should say, front and center. And I'm gonna start with my yellow. But before I do that, I gotta use my other thumb. <laughs> Open this up. Okay, 
peel this back. I always love peeling these. Oh yeah. I am gonna do some alignments before I do, whoops, any inking, just to make sure everything has a good base. Um, sometimes the stamps with some of these long vertical or horizontal stamps, they can get a little, when you put them on the block, like let's say for example, this hat is crooked. You just wanna make sure everything is nice and tall. So that way you have less mistakes. I'm just going in with my Canary Yellow Pigment Ink and I'm just really saturating my stamp. Cover that. And that is like a perfect yellow lab. This font is very sweet because it actually has some paw prints within the lettering. So in the E, the O, B, just adds a nice little touch. All right, cool, set that aside. I can set that aside. And now I'm gonna start adding some color. I actually want my dogs to look a little more realistic. Um, so what I'm gonna do is actually just look up a picture of a German Shepherd. So I'm seeing a lot of warm, even transitional shades. Too light. Obviously I have some scrap paper and I'm just testing um, oh yeah that's a good one so I think I'll go with those two I think this is gonna be too cool yeah All right, so it looks like I'm gonna go with, that's too bright. I'm gonna go with my goldenrod, uh, dark brown. Yeah, that's nice. And then I have camel and I believe beach. So those are all good. And with these markers, the best technique is to just kind of blot. And when I mean blot, I mean just pushing the marker, not shoving it down and ruining the felt, but just lightly kind of dabbing. I can actually get a little pink too for my shepherd's ears. Um, just to give it a little bit more something something. So I got the pink and I think I'm actually gonna go with like a green and yellow party hat. And I'm just dabbing. And as a reminder, I'm doing this kind of dabbing technique because with these pigment inks, the saturation is really good. However, when it comes to adding any color with a wet pigment, so an ink, a pen, paint, it's going to smear. So you just you gotta work maybe a little slower than you would like and take your time. So 
I'm just kind of following. I'm looking at the face, the markings. But you can also tell I'm not overly focused on what is what. I'm just kind of letting the pigment blend and bleed and just kind of embracing the, the process. And again, I'm just kind of looking and looks like there's some kind of peachy in the ear, maybe a little in the muzzle. It's actually a little too dark, so I think I'm just going to start with the lighter first. And I like that there's like a little kind of white spot on the chest. Okay, that was a lot of coloring. And if you're someone who's just not that into taking the time, having it look a little bit more real, then don't, you don't have to. I like taking the time to do it. I like the coloring. You can even see that there are some details that I lost. Um, so what I was doing with my retriever is I was just going in with a really fine tip pen and just adding some of that detail back. Um, another great way to bring some life back in is take your gel pen. Woo! All right. I think... With all that said and done, I just kind of added some little little gems kind of covering the confetti. Maybe you want to add more, maybe you don't want to add any. I got my nice little crew of canines ready to wish whoever you are sending this to a happy birthday. Thank you for joining us, and as always, we would love to see what you will create using our stamps. So with that said, Please use a hashtag stamp with us. Again, that is hashtag stamp with us. And that way we can see what you have created. Join us next time. And as always, thanks for watching.